Hi girls, it's Miss Madison. So today is gonna be really quick. I'm just gonna go over um, how to go outside and get some exercise. I know that there's a lot of schoolwork that you all are doing and you may be doing other fun stuff. You may be doing some stuff that you know, you've seen on our videos, but I do wanna encourage you to kind of get out and take a walk. And to do that, I'm gonna take Pixel with me and I'm gonna kind of talk over uh, some of the footage that I got while we were walking. It's too windy and it was a little too busy for me to be able to talk to you all while I was walking her. Um, but we are going to be able to get to see her again. I know you all really enjoyed seeing her last time. So the first thing that you're going to want to keep in mind <laughs> while you're walking um, is to make sure you're walking on a sidewalk or uh, at least out of the road. So here, my mom and our dogs and I, we're all walking on a sidewalk. Um, we're staying out of the road. You can see that both of the dogs really, really, really want to go into the road, but we're keeping them out of it. Um, Pixel's really interested in what's going on. So here we come across some construction and we're kind of making sure that it's okay for us to walk across. Always be aware when you come across anything like construction or utility work, make sure you check and make sure it's okay for you to walk by first. Here we come across the stop sign. We don't cross it, but always make sure you look both ways and check before crossing. Hey girls, it's Miss Madison. So like with any time that you go out and you do any kind of exercise, it's really important to take a break. So the path that we were walking, like we said earlier, you need to pick one that's near your house. Uh, the path that we were walking is, uh, it just loops around and it comes right back around to my house. So we're gonna take a short break and I'm gonna let Pixel get some water and I'm gonna get some water and just kind of sit down for a little bit. And then I will be back with you all when we're gonna go around again. Here is where Pixel starts to kind of try to trip me up a little bit. Um, she keeps, you know, twirling around me. Um, so always be aware of your surroundings when you're walking, especially if you're walking your dog. You can see, again, she's trying to pull me toward the road. But she was definitely trying to trip me up. She kept crisscrossing everywhere. Uh, I just thought it was funny to show you all that it's not always easy walking a dog. All right, so this is where we start to get to the final stretches of our walk. Um, we're both getting pretty tired and we're kind of slowing it up. So I wanna talk a little bit about the order that you should walk in. Um, whenever you're walking, it's good to take it slow at first and then pick up. She has spotted something. It's time to take it slow at first and then pick it up um, and maybe walk a little bit faster and then slow down again and give your body some time to kind of catch up. It's also a really good idea to stretch before and after you walk just so that you don't get anything like a side stitch, just a pain in your side, or you don't have any leg cramps or anything like that. And as always, make sure you're either carrying water with you or you can stop and get some on your walk. All right, and this is just for fun, but I did do a time lapse of our entire lap around the neighborhood. So you can always do stuff like this if you just kind of want to see how far you walked. This was two walks around the block. Uh, so it's a pretty long time lapse. I'm not gonna let it go on for too much longer. All right, so just like how I recorded my walk, I'm gonna encourage you all to record your walk or take pictures of your walk. So what's something really cool you saw while you were walking? Uh, the construction was probably the most interesting thing that we saw on our walk. What's something that you did differently while you walked? Did you maybe stretch before you walked and after you walked like I suggested and did that help you on your walk? Um, was there something you wish you had done differently? Maybe there's a new path you wanna take. And as always, guys, when you're walking, make sure you have someone with you. Make sure you have a parent with you. Never just go walking on your own. Uh, make sure you're safe and make sure you're healthy. You'll notice that a couple times on the time lapse, I crossed someone on the street and I also spread away from them. So make sure you're staying six feet apart as well while you're walking. Uh, I hope you all go on a walk and enjoy the really pretty day and the really pretty days that we're supposed to have for the rest of the week. And bye.